Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 61 of Europa Universalis 4 as Malwa. And we are currently in a war with the Holy Roman Empire. The only reason for that is we declared war on the Netherlands because they have one coastal province in India which we need to take. We did bring in the Commonwealth as our allies. I was actually expecting the Commonwealth to steamroll the Empire given the size of the Commonwealth and their armies. And in all fairness to them, they did actually start off quite strongly. There were a fair few conflicts, there were a fair few battles where the Commonwealth actually succeeded. But eventually the sprawling masses of the Empire's army did manage to um, over uh, overpower them. Um, let's just take the Diplo hit there. So the Empire are starting to eat into the Commonwealth and siege them out. Unfortunately, the Commonwealth's shattered armies all decided to head over to Scandinavia and deal with their separatists' problem. Uh, hopefully now they are all heading back. And if they all come down here and start fighting these battles, we might actually get some positive war score. There's about 100k or so. Uh, there's 25... Excuse me. There's 25k there. 25k there, 43 there. So they do still have about 100, uh, 200k in armies, I think. And they have quite lost quite a lot. Yeah, they've still got about 200k. I mean, obviously the Empire is absolutely massive at this point. Uh, but we only need a small amount of positive war score in order to get this. Bring your armies home. Forget about the Separatists. Forget about the Rebels. Come down here and deal with the Holy Roman Empire, who are the, the thorn in our side at the moment. I do have the... Um, I do have the Dutch province in India under siege, which is the war goal, so we are getting ticking war score from that. Uh, but of course the Commonwealth's capital is currently occupied, so, you know, Warsaw is um, occupied by the Netherlands there, which is which is not great. We, they need to take that back. Can I actually tell them to take that back? Take, take your flipping province back. Take your capital back. So there are some units moving in. Um, they are coming back with the rest of their armies now. I, I, I'd be happier if they actually got them together rather than having them all spread out. Uh, let's get the admin tech, uh, diplo tech even. So we're starting to catch up. We're 24 across the board. So there are quite a few big armies around. Luckily, the um, mind you, the the, M the AI doesn't really suffer from attrition, and the the empire even less. But things seem to be happening. We can invest in an idea which is an offensive idea. Land force limit modifier plus 20%. Which could be really useful for us, actually. Um, but I do want to take the tech. Because it'll give us a uh, better shock. It'll give us um, new mortars. Yeah, we will try and take the tech first. Okay, the Commonwealth did lose a battle there. They are starting to come in with some of their armies. Looks like they are actually going to try and take that back. There is a few big stacks coming in, though. A few smaller sets. Right, back up to 7%. Now it's gone down to 4 then back up to 5 It's like it's all over the place. Uh, nice. Tax modifier going up. Yeah, just bring the rest of your armies back. Come on. Get yourself organized. There's a stack there that you might be able to take out. Um, they're still only in this one war, which is fine. You can probably take those out. That's going to be a win. That's suicide, so don't do that. Yep, you're moving away from that Dutch army. Just take your capital back. I don't want them. I don't want their capital to stay under siege because they'll lose war enthusiasm. And we could do without that. So this should be a win, unless they reinforce, because there's a big 66k stack coming in. Um. There, I think they're going to lose that, actually. I don't think they're going to do it in time. No, they're going to reinforce. Uh, oh, that's all of the coring done, anyway, from the previous war with Vijaynagar. We've still got this under siege. I'm going to keep it under siege. So we're still at 5%, and that's going to be a loss. Right, looks like you are actually getting onto your capital. Unfortunately, you've chosen to do it with the one army that doesn't actually have a leader, let alone a siege leader. Hopefully, because I've actually told them to get that province, they might... Actually, he's not even trying to unsiege it. He's literally just walked straight pop, straight by it. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they'd merge all of their armies onto one spot. 
But obviously that would be sensible, so no. We can get some more of these conversions done. Um, that is probably going to be a win. Because that's Dutch Columbia. I don't think they're going to get to reinforce that in time. Excellent. Still at 5%. Right, the Commonwealth are starting to regroup. They're unseaging some of these provinces over here. There are still some big stacks. Of, what are the Ottomans doing in here? Are they at war with the Ottomans? They are not at war with the Ottomans. I just saw Ottoman armies marching through and I wondered what was going on. I think they're just... They probably have open borders because they're trying to get over here. They're at war with um, somebody. Hmm. Emeriti. Emer em em Interesting. Anyway, not too bothered what they're doing. Commonwealth are training up lots of extra troops right now. Uh, they are trying to take some land back. Lose a load of ducats. Sure, it's some sort of... It's one of those events where you look at it. It's one of those events where you look at it and go, Wow, that's a really negative event, but something good will probably come of it. Uh, we have some guys over here that are a little bit annoying. Um, let's put Afro in this army and go and march on them. Delhi and Separatists. We were expecting them at some point, so hardly a surprise. Uh, you're actually getting sieged out by Malacca. Interesting. There's definitely going to be some interesting future wars that we're going to need to do to take some of this land that we want. Uh, let's go back to Europe and see how things are going here. Uh, Austria are at war with anybody else? No, still just us. Who are the Ottomans at war with? Just uh, Emeriti. Okay. Right, come on, Commonwealth. Actually put your armies together. Gain 50 admin power. There we go. They do have an army on the capital. There are some units heading towards them. Uh, they don't really have enough units there to reinforce. Looks like Austria was... Is force marching a stack around. If the Commonwealth can regain control of some of their forts, they're more likely to be in a position where it's harder for the uh, Empire armies to sort of move through their territory, which would be ideal. But it looks like the it looks like the Commonwealth are starting to um, carpet siege their own territory back. Not bothered about a skill one guy. We'll take the money. Gives us back most of the money we spent on that previous event, anyway. Right, you've got a 96k stack coming towards you with a 22k stack right next to it. Are you going to get your act together and put all of your units into one big giant death stack? Or are you just going to let Austria run in and ruffle stomp you in the face? I'm going to guess you, you're going to let Austria ruffle stomp you in the face. Uh, Switzerland entered into a military alliance with Mecklenburg. Not bothered about that. Um, there's a battle going on there. Not too sure who with. That's a very small stack. Doesn't look like they're even going to try and reinforce that. Okay, so you have now got a 43k stack with a general. With two siege sat on your capital. You've got a 50k stack nearby. You've got a 64k stack nearby. Now, there is, that, there is still that big Austrian doom stack moving around. Okay, it's taking an absolute butt-ton of attrition. Um, but if you could maybe, you know, prepare to defend against that, because there's also another 70k Bavarian stack right behind it. Right, now Austria is going to come in and attack you there, and you don't have any reinforcements anywhere near. And Austria controls the fort, so Austria counts as being the defender. And once again, the AI's complete ineptitude to manage its armies. It, it does absolutely fine managing its armies for um, your enemies. But when it comes to managing armies for your allies and your subjects, it does an absolutely terrible job. We are at 9% war score though. So if... We can, if the Commonwealth can just take back a few provinces or win a couple more battles or just avoid losing anything else for the next five minutes because we just dropped down to 8% again now. Can you please just take your capital back? Like, take your entire army and dump it on Warsaw. That's all you need to do. Just take back your capital. You already have a 28% chance of getting it back. There you go. 
There you go. Put the big stack on it. Get your capital back. That will get that will get you so much war score back if you just keep that stack on there. Um, you are also engaging a 30 stack of the Austrian army down here in the south, which is isolated. Fine. Fantastic. I'm happy with that. That is a solid tactical decision. You can also go and unsiege this fort while you're down there. Probably that one as well. Excellent. 10% war score. I do not want to be in this war a moment longer than I have to be. Let's go and see if we can actually peace out with the, the Netherlands. Uh, they're not winning for peace. There's only 5% to grab this. Negative 5. We're getting close. I don't think we need to do too much in order to, to get it. We'll keep our eye on it. Um, see, now this is where the AI make... Oh, no. It's actually taken the, their, their capital back. The AI often makes this mistake of um, breaking sieges to go and fight pointless battles. And then sometimes it'll... I, I've seen the AI in a siege on a province that has a fort and they've got a wall breach and it's got like an 83% chance to fall and the AI will walk away from it to go and beat up a one stack and then I've seen other instances where the AI has just moved into a siege it's got like negative 78% chance to flip and they idly stand by while one of their other armies gets decimated in the adjacent province instead of going to reinforce making it an easy win the AI acts so dumb in this game sometimes it really is unbelievable uh, we are now at negative two reasons. So we are probably still going to have to hold out for a, another month or two. There is still that big 90k Austrian doom stack there. I'm hoping that the Commonwealth can just avoid... There's some truces expiring. Uh, I'm hoping that the Commonwealth will just avoid taking any losses for a few months. Or just put all their armies together in a giant death stack. That is a good tactical decision. There is a 20k stack moving away, so that is fine. So that is another good win. You're keeping most of your armies together in one spot. So that is sensible. Uh, we can grab a new tech. Military tech, yes. Let's go and take it. Doesn't really benefit this war right now, because we're not the ones sort of fighting in it. But it's worth doing what we can. Still trying to get that professionalism up. It could be higher. Definitely want to get... Oh, reduce moral, morale damage by reserves could be useful. Uh, let's just go back to the homeland for a moment. So, we were building up another stack army somewhere. Which I thought I did. Did I not? Did I not build that stack? I thought I did. Did I imagine it? Did it break? Pretty pretty certain I told it to build build me a stack. Not too sure what happened there. Anyway, we're definitely working on one now. 14%. Uh, we can actually just click on the Netherlands up here, can't we? Uh, let's keep checking. Right, they're willing to give it to me now. Fine, that is literally all I want from you. All of that was literally just for one province, which is now mine. That's fine. That's all I wanted. Um, so, other wars that we now have to consider. We need to go to war against Maravi. Um, we need this province as well. Now, is that... Are you actually sieging that? I can't quite tell. Yeah, you're at war with those guys. You're actually moving away from it. Now, sieging Maravi could be a little bit risky. But if you're moving out, that's good for me. And if Moravia are in another war with somebody else, that's also good for me. So, leathers, we need to wait for the diplomats to come back anyway. Before we can do anything else. We do still have some potential um, rebellions. So, we do have to be careful about those. We are getting our stacks together here. Might, might risk going back up to speed 3. Hopefully we won't get too much uh, frame drop. So the rebel factions are not doing too bad. Right, Diplomat is back. So let us go and... Yeah, we know that's going to bring some guys in. That's fine. Let's go and declare war. Um, 
Apparently we have military access with them. Uh, we don't want military access with them. So let's cancel the military access. Now we've got to wait for the diplomats to come back again. But we should be able to jump on the provinces we need. Oh dear, our ruler has died. We've got a 423, which is not terrible. The air is a 511, that is terrible. Uh, current deity. Not too bothered about aggressive expansion at this point, because we're so big that coalitions aren't really a problem. Um, trade and tax is always nice. Uh, but I think we just go for discipline and siege. I mean, we are going to be getting involved in, in a fair few wars. Hopefully, uh, our income is, is going to stay decent. Uh, we do have some revolts. That is a big old stack right there. Um, let's go and put Afro in this stack. And let's just go and move in on these guys. It's not a surprise, of course. We'll see if we can time both of these guys to arrive on the same day. So you're going to arrive on the 7th. You are going to arrive on the 5th. So uh, one, two more days. So now you're going to arrive on the 7th and you're going to arrive on the 7th. There we go. So both armies will arrive on the same day. And there they are. Smushed. Let's split you guys up so you don't get nasty attrition. Excellent. We can take tech. It is admin tech. We are behind the times. Well, we are on time. So let's go ahead and do that. Still a little bit behind with Diplo. But I think we're alright. We've got another stack. We're still making money. We can still get another 30 stack. So let's go ahead and do it. That is basically um, tapped our manpower reserve. So uh, we do have our diplomat back. So let us go and declare our war here. Um, Diviet won't come in. That's fine. Uh, Luba and Burgunda will. That's fine. We can call Chagatai in. Don't need them. So, um, let's just go ahead and confirm. We're going to take that, because that is one of the provinces that we'd like to take. We do have a claim on it. We're going to drop down there, because we've got a claim on that as well. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go all the way over here and try and fight their allies. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just wait. We will just wait. Should get all the war score that we need. Uh, royal marriage offer from Chagatai. Sure, let's keep it going for the time being. Uh, does Chagatai have any provinces that I need to take? No, they don't have anything that I have a claim on. Or do they? They've got that, and I have a claim on that. So, yep, sooner or later we are going to have to go to war with Chagatai. We're going to have to take all of this stuff down here. So there's quite a lot of stuff that we've got to take. We don't have a huge amount of time to do it. We only have about 100 years. So I might not even get to um, go and mess around with China at this rate. We'll have to see. Have to see how things work out for us. Because I need to take a, a... I've got a ton of stuff that I need to take from Transoxiania and from Sistan as well. So that's going to be a pretty big war. Uh, we definitely want to try and get the our favours up with the Commonwealth again, because we're really going to need the Commonwealth to help us with that particular battle. Um, we don't want to lose a claim. We will take the... Actually, I don't care if Chagatai fall out with me. We, like I said, we're going to have to go to war with them at some point anyway, so let's not worry too much about that right now. Uh, let's get you drilling as well. Chagatai broke their alliance with us. Yeah, okay, understandable. Shame we got that royal marriage now, but I mean, Chagatai aren't really a threat. They're big, but their um, development is crappy. Uh, if we find them on the list, they've got 53,000 army strength compared to our 330,000 army strength. I mean, I could beat them with two stacks. So, you know, we're good. They got any alliances? They're, uh, funnily enough, they're actually allied with Transoxiania and Sistan anyway, so... We can, uh, we can find something there. We can, we'll find a way to get at them. We always do. Got some buildings we could build. We could definitely do some more manpower buildings, actually. Training fields would be really useful. Whichever gives us the most. There we go. Just going to boost our manpower up. Anything for tax? 
Any here that is like particularly lucrative? Um, trade. Not got a lot of options on on manufactories. There's a couple of good ones there though. Problem with manufacturers, they're so expensive. There's another conversion done. Let's go and work on... That's going to take a long time now. I, I hardly want to spend the money given how long that's going to take. So we'll probably leave it. Lost our admin guy. Um, plus three missionary strength guy is probably worth taking though. Because that just sort of solves our problem there. Would you look at that? It's now down to 38 months and we can even con convert the other ones. Lose a load of ducats. Or lose trade efficiency and national tax for 10 years. We'll take the monetary hit. That does put us into a negative. We will take a loan, but we'll be fine. Such a shame that I couldn't use that to get Vajanagar involved in that war. Could have took some more stuff from them. But, I mean, we've split them in half now. They're, they're pretty... Um, they're, they're pretty screwed at this point. So there's the loan. We will want to pay that back as soon as we can. We're making relatively decent money, despite the fact we've got some some pretty big pretty big armies going on. Um, we can probably... Bomani Separatists, where are you going to pop? Um, there is an idea, which is... An, again, we could take these influence ideas. They're not all that useful. Extra diplomatic relations can be, but I'm in no rush to do it. I'd sooner get the tech first. Try and stay ahead in tech. Um, right, what do we want to do? We want to try and see where this is. So, Maher and Manindurg. So, Maher is over here. And... Uh, Manny Dirk. Manny Dirk is right next door. Fine. Um, we can actually get you... Are they, they're they probably both in the same thing, so we should be alright there. So, our legitimacy is in the toilet. Uh, we lost our stability as well, of course. We should probably buy that up again when I can. So... As soon as you get into position, I'm going to have you uh, do autonomous rebel suppression. And you're in the, that place anyway, so that should be fine. How much will it cost me to raise my um, stability? War exhaustion is almost gone. Uh, 187. So we're nearly there. Overextension is almost gone as well. So, yeah, I probably will boost that. It'll be cheaper once the overextension goes away. Uh, why can't we work on that one? Oh, because you're building a temple. Let's go and work on some of the ones that are the hardest to convert. They're not going to be cheap, but let's get them done and out of the way. So you're guarding that. Um, we've actually got enough money to repay the loan, probably. There's the coring done. So that should now mean... Just, yeah, we're getting the stability, actually. We've got an event for it. So gain the stability and cheaper admin cost. Or gain 50 prestige. Well, we take the stability. Because that's just saved me 180-something admin points. And it gives me uh, cheaper admin tech. It's a shame I'm, I'm ahead of time now. Yeah, we need to catch up on, on Diplotech. Uh, what's our spread looking like on points now that we have a different king? An 8, uh, a 9, 10, 8. That's not terrible. Could be better, but it's not terrible. But I think that's about as far as we're going to get in this video. We've taken some more land. We are certainly starting to uh, blob out. We've, we've pretty much taken most of uh, India. Uh, we do have over 10% war score here. Let's just see if, if they will give us this stuff. At least see what we need from them to get them. We need 15 war score. So it'll probably take a little bit of time um, to get that. But I'm going to end the video here. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I will see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.